We try to make sense of it all. How did this happen? So much rain, so fast. I wanted to get some answers from this man. You might call him the Dean of the Weather Forecasters in Central Texas. I've known Troy Kimmel since he was a young weathercaster here at KVU many years ago. He went on to join the University of Texas faculty to teach what he knows best, the science of meteorology. Is there something about the beautiful Texas hill country that suddenly can make it turn so treacherous? In those hills, in many cases, the soil layers are very shallow. It's a very it's a rocky limestone that comes almost to the surface. So all of a sudden now we have the hills, Bob, and we got this beautiful environment, but underneath what little soil there is, there's a lot of limestone. Well, the problem with that is when you start getting these excessively heavy rains, it hits the ground, the hills will cause it to go downhill, and guess how much of that water will soak in in a, in a flooding rain? Very little because of the limestone layers. And then you get it into creeks and streams, and you've got this channel, and, and we're off to the races. Troy also had something else to say about the tragic events of July 4th. I want people at home to realize that I think the National Weather Service, Austin, San Antonio, did a great job going in. Are there ways to make it better? Sure. I just want people to understand that. This has been a disaster, and it's just something that's not acceptable. We've got to look in what went wrong, and we've got to make improvements. And I will tell you another thing, too, Bob, and I I'm hoping I can get through this, but if you don't think that office is devastated, you are wrong. Some answers about the floods, but still so many questions remain. And today, and tomorrow, and even beyond, more prayers for miracles. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.